Twenty years have passed since a band of mortals vanquished Diablo, the Lord of Terror, and his malevolent brothers Mephisto and Bale. Yet a new threat to the world of Sanctuary has emerged, as the last two lords of the Burning Hells, Belial and Asmodan, prepare to break the will of mankind forever. Humanity's darkest hour is approaching, but they will not face it alone. I, Tyrael, Archangel of Justice, shall stand with them. The end of days. The first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. Be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct, <laughs> the powers of hell could already be on the move. The world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me, don't you, Leah? It has begun. Leave it, Uncle. It's not important. Two decades ago, Diablo awakened in the rural town of Tristram and began his reign of terror. It was in that cursed place where I recently fell to the mortal realm. Before long, the townsfolk were beset on all sides by the risen dead and other demonic forces. My journey to Sanctuary had left me powerless to aid Tristram's inhabitants but a new band of heroes came forward to confront the growing darkness. With the help of the wise Horadric scholar Deckard Cain and his adopted daughter Leah, the heroes restored order and rescued me from the clutches of Belial's mortal servants. But the victory came at a price. Cain eventually succumbed to wounds he had received at the hands of Belial's followers. With his passing, one of humanity's guiding lights was extinguished. Stories. My uncle saw what 
he wanted to see. Deckard sacrificed much to protect this world. But his work is not over. What would you know about sacrifice? Imperial. The ancient law of the High Heaven strictly forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. You cannot judge me. I am justice itself. We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. You chose to be one of us. Sacrilege. With Leia and the mortal heroes by my side, we set out to Belial's seat of power in Chaldeum. The Lord of Lies had twisted the trade city into a cauldron of despair and unrest. There, we encountered Leia's estranged mother, the Witch Adria. The woman possessed the mysterious Black Soul Stone, an artifact capable of capturing all the Lords of Hell within its shadowed recess. With a boldness rarely found in mankind, the heroes disrupted Belial's hold on the region and led Chaldeum's oppressed populace in a revolt. They then defeated the Lord of Lies, and the demon's essence was sucked into the Dark Soul Stone. Am 
I supposed to see? Asmodan, the Lord of Sin, had begun his invasion of the mortal world at Ariat Crater. Only the ancient fortress of Bastion's Keep stood between the Burning Hell's legions and the rest of Sanctuary. There, my companions and I rained justice upon Asmodan's ranks in what would become a titanic battle whose result would determine the very fate of mankind. In the end, the mortal champions overcame the Lord of Sin himself. Yet at this, our brightest moment, darkness loomed. Adria betrayed us all. After capturing Asmodan's essence within the Black Soul Stone, she turned the artifact on Leah. The young woman, as I soon learned, had been secretly bred as a vessel for Diablo's spirit. Leah's mind was shattered as the Soul Stone awakened the Lord of Terror within her. Yet it was not the Diablo of old, it was something far more terrible. With the combined powers of the seven evils at his command, Diablo had become the Prime Evil, and set out to unleash his wrath upon the High Heavens.
Discord echoed throughout the high heavens. Once a place of supreme harmony, Diablo had overtaken Lia completely and rampaged throughout the realm of angels, turning its proud and noble inhabitants into shadows of what they once were. Everything was lost, and I surrendered to despair. Yet once again, the heroes, mortal heroes, never wavered. The champions rescued the Archangels of Hope and Fate, inspiring me to continue the fight against Diablo. At the Great Crystal Arch, the source of angelic power and the birthplace of our divine virtues, the mortals saved us all and struck down the prime evil. In the end, it was a mortal heart that saved two worlds from ruin and cast down the prime evil forever. day breaks for both angels and men. For mankind's greatest champion, the Nephilim, rose to confront the darkness that we, in our pride, would not face. place among you once again but this time as a mortal since justice has been met this day I will now stand as wisdom on behalf of those who risked all to save us Forevermore, we shall stand together, angels and men, in the light of this glorious new dawn. 